Hello guys and girls, how are you today? I have just done a video on the uh, Insta channel about Ollie, Ollie, <laughs> no one called Ollie, model auxiliary verbs or helping verbs. So do check that out. So I'll go through a few now. Can, so can is about the possibility or ability. So I can speak Portuguese a little bit, uh, but I can't speak Dutch. Can is used as an informal request. So, can I borrow... Can I borrow your car? No, you can't drive. Can is also used for permission. So, let's say you've got some kids and they want to go and play in the park. Then you would let them. You say, yes, you can go and play in the park. Could is a polite request. So, could you tell me the time? No. Could is also about certainty, but only 50%. So, just in the middle. So, it could rain tomorrow. Probably more than 50% in England. Probably it, it probably will. Could is also used uh, when you're suggesting something. So, let's say you have had a late night and you need to go to work, well, you could go to work, or you could pull a sickie. What's pull a sickie, you may ask? That is uh, an English phrase for when you pretend to be sick, to be ill. So you don't want to go to work, you don't want to do something, pull a sickie. Could also can be for future possibility. So, we could still save the world from climate change. I don't actually think that's true, that's a lie, we are screwed. Could is also for ability in the past. So, he gave up his job, so he could work for us. Will. What is will? It is a spontaneous decision. So, it's quite cold in here. I'll close the window. I'll is. I will. Contracted. Will is also used for a prediction. So, I always think that my team will win every game. And they very rarely do. Would is a polite request. So, if you are on public transport and you see an old person get on, then you would say to them, would you like to take my seat? Would is also used as a preference, so the old person may answer you, no, thank you, I'd prefer to stand. And I'd, I apostrophe D, contracted, I would. Would is also the past tense of will, so Dave, said he would pay me back that tenor he borrowed. He hasn't. Also, repetitive action in the past. So, I used to have a season ticket for Crystal Palace. So, I would go to a game every other week. Would is also used in second and third conditionals. So, if I won the lottery, I would travel the world. Might, may and must. Let's look at those uh, model auxiliaries today. Helping verbs. Might is about a possibility. So, I might go to the gym today. I won't. May is a polite request. So, may I go to the bathroom? Or may I come in? May I sit down? <laughs> May is also formal permission. So let's say you are taking a test, an examination at school, and the teacher may say to you, pupils, you may not speak during the test. May is also used for certainty. That's less than 50%. So let's say you go to a friend's house with another friend, knock on the door, there's no answer straight away. You could say, she may not be in. Must is for obligation. So, we must all pay our taxes. Some don't, you know, Google, 
Amazon, Starbucks, clearly they're struggling, you know. Must not or mustn't is when something is prohibited. So you mustn't drive on the right hand side of the road in the UK. Must can also be used if you must do something or something, there's a strong certainty. So if somebody doesn't come into work, then you could say they must be sick. Or if there's something you have to do, I must do this today. Hey, today I'm gonna look at should, shall, and ought to. So should is advice. So if you're feeling sick, you should go to the doctor. And it works the other way as well with the negative, something somebody should not do. You can say, you know, if you're a smoker, your parents smoke, you might say, listen, you shouldn't smoke. Should is also used for deduction. So let's say you have some friends coming over to your home. Uh, you could ask, when will they be here? Oh, they should be here by 8 p.m. Ought to is very similar to should. It's giving advice to someone, but not quite as strong advice. So let's say you buy coffee in a shop every day. Could say you ought to buy a coffee machine yourself. Shall is only used in Britain. And it means when you're talking about a future event, something you're going to do. So I shall be in Lisbon in a few days. Woohoo! Or you could say I'll be. You also use shall when asking what to do. So shall I come round to yours on Saturday or Sunday? Hey guys and girls, today I'm going to be continuing uh, with model auxiliaries, but doing semi ones. Semi ones. Uh, ought to, I did the other day, that's a semi, um, and I'm going to do a few more today. Be able to, that means someone has the ability to do something. So a taxi driver in London, uh, a black cab driver, they, can, they are able to find any street in London without sat-nav. Have to is an obligation. So let's say you're a parent and your kids are at a party. You would say, you have to be back by 10 p.m. tonight. The opposite of that is don't have to. That's a lack of obligation. So if your parents are really cool, they could be like, enjoy the party. You don't have to be back at all. Need to is obligation as well. Uh, is it a bit stronger maybe? I guess you guys want to learn English, right? So you need to study every day. At least 15 minutes, okay? That was 15, one five, not 50. Although you can study for 50 minutes. Um, and the opposite of need to is needn't, need not. So you needn't get a university degree, uh, but you should go because it's a lot of fun.